it's quite phenomenal, I must admit, like when how deep rooted some trauma can actually be. Yeah. But, you know, of I mentioned it, but like it's kind of similar, but just as an example of the deep rooted traumas that some people go through, like they, when this individual is in their 60s now, gone through the full transformation from male to female, mm -hmm. um, self funded. But even but when they're around the age of three and five, like their um, mother and sister would dress them in women's clothing during the day whilst dad was at work. And then when dad would come home, they'll put him in boys' clothing. This happened for nearish years before the father found out, assaulted the wife, then they essentially, then the dad would beat the child, this, this yeah. confused child. Yeah. And then the mother would, would beat the confused child as well for. Or the, you know, for everything that's happened, okay. you know, even yeah. though they made that choice. And then for, you know, like 40, 50 years in terms of trauma, like this person has had an identity issue resulting in them wanting to transition into, you know, uh, yeah, a female to a male and yeah. I'm that with confidence. Yeah. How deep it can be. Like, and it's from such a young age. Yep. Yeah. And like, you don't know the circumstance, the situation they're in. No, you, yeah, you, you just say no. Like, you, yeah, you're too busy taking it for face value in a way. Like the person yeah. itself. Like, yeah. I saw that they presented as a as a female yeah. on on the day, yeah. um, and then I was confident enough to ask questions, and they were confident enough to answer those. Yeah, and it was did it in the first interaction, and I'm like, oh, this is well, fascinating. 